our universe is not the first. Or is it? Come on a mind-bending journey here with us at Intrigued Mind, where we explore the conflicting theories about this very topic. Learn about the theory of a singularity and discover why some scientists disagree with it, instead believing that there was a universe before this one as we know it, and that there will be another one to take this one's place when it all comes to an end. Ah, the universe. Even just thinking about its theorized infinite nature is enough to blow your mind. And then there's the concept that the term universe refers to the observable universe. How can we know it exists if we can't observe it? Again, mind officially blown. Semantics aside, let's throw another mind-bending concept into the mix. Imagine that there was another universe before this one. How would that look? Um, no, not like that. More like this. The term universe refers to all of space and time and their contents, including planets, stars, galaxies, and all other forms of matter and energy. The most commonly accepted and well-known theory about how the universe started is the Big Bang Theory, a term which most of us are familiar with courtesy of the TV show by the same name. At the point of the Big Bang, space and time emerged together, and the universe has been expanding ever since. Humans have been pondering the nature of the universe since ancient times, but it was not until 1925 that Edwin Hubble managed to nail down the scope of the observable universe with his big-ass telescope. But back to the Big Bang. The nerds at NASA say there was a massive explosion around 13.7 billion years ago. And how could you argue with them? They are NASA after all. Things kind of percolated for about 400,000 years afterwards before a long period of darkness. And then, just as God is quoted as saying in Genesis, let there be light, and so on and so forth. Galaxies, planets, solar systems, you know the drill. All that cool stuff they taught you in elementary school. This is what this universe looked like from then until now, as perhaps would any other universes that came before it. Now, anyone who gets into all of this stuff will have undoubtedly heard of black holes. And no, we're not talking about a trip to Ikea. We're talking about those enormous, scary as hell abysses which turn everything in their path into spaghetti. Those black holes. Preeminent mathematician and physicist Sir Roger Penrose postulates that black holes are evidence that the universe as we know it was not actually the first. He believes that spots of electromagnetic radiation, known as Hawking points, are the final expulsion of energy from the black holes which existed in the previous universe. Sir Roger's ideas about black holes tie in with his conformal cyclic cosmology theory. This theory proposes that this current universe is one of an infinite cycle of universes. Gulp. It acknowledges a Big Bang event, which, for want of a better word, spawns a universe. According to the conformal cyclic cosmology theory, each iteration ends with the decay of particles and their disappearance from existence. Then, another Big Bang event takes place and kicks off another universe, and so on. Incidentally, Sir Roger was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2020 for his ideas, so you know they're good. This is not the same thing as another theory known as the multiverse, which many of you have recently come into contact with via the latest Doctor Strange movie. The multiverse is a term scientists use to describe the idea that beyond the observable universe, other, perhaps infinite universes exist as well. The thing is, we just cannot see them. Multiverses are predicted by several scientific theories that describe different possible scenarios. From regions of space in different planes than our own, to separate bubble universes that are constantly springing into existence. But back to Sir Roger. Penrose believes that our Big Bang was the result of the previous universe's quote-unquote squash down infinity. Now there's two concepts I bet you never thought about in the same sentence, squash down and infinity. If this theory is correct, then it is possible that the known universe is not the first of its type, nor will it be the last. Indeed, many scientists and theorists have put forth hypotheses about the events which may have preceded the Big Bang. Could it be possible that whilst our little pocket of space was big banging its heart out, other universes were occupying their own pockets of space and doing the same thing, some before, some concurrently, which brings us back to the multiverse theory in a multiverse, but let's try to stay on subject. Because, don't forget, the universe as we know it refers only to what is observable. If we don't see it, does that mean it doesn't exist? It's kind of like the tree falling in the woods conundrum. It also ties into ideas like that of Schrodinger's cat, which is a famous thought experiment, wherein two diametrically opposed things, in this case a cat being alive or dead, can be true at the same time. An online article published by Forbes in 2020 contradicts the work of theorists like Penrose, this article stated, Contrary to recent headlines and Penrose's assertions, there is no evidence of a universe before the Big Bang. If you extrapolate back far enough, you'll achieve densities, temperatures, and energies that are so great that you'll create the conditions for a singularity. Singularity, as in single, as in there can be only one. 
American theoretical physicist and mathematician Brian Greene postulates that you cannot go back in time further than the origin of time itself. Therefore, if this is correct, then there cannot be other universes before this one because time did not exist yet. One single universe with a clear starting point that renders the possibility of others before it null and void by virtue of its nature. But could a different time exist before our present nature of time? Do you ken? So that settles it then. Or does it? Hold the phone before you think we can put this topic to bed. Green goes on to say that general theories of relativity and mechanics cannot be applied to time during the Planck epoch, which is the earliest period of time in the history of the universe. No, not that kind of Planck. I'm talking about Max Planck, the German physicist. Planck developed his theory in 1899 in which Planck time is an interval that is so mind-bendingly tiny it is hard to comprehend. To illustrate, a nanosecond has eight zeros between the decimal point and the first significant figure. Planck time has 43 zeros. So, if current theories to explain the dawn of time and the Big Bang cannot be used to explain Planck time right at the very beginning of time itself, then how can we be sure about this whole singularity business and that there were no other universes before this one as we know it? Now, back to the concept of time. We all know time is a somewhat arbitrary measurement. All you have to do is look at the various and conflicting calendars we humans have used to mark time over the centuries to know that, and you can check out more about this here. In essence, if the marking of time is arbitrary, is the question, was there a universe before this one, even a useful or sensible question to ask? In summary, there are two schools of thought on the topic of ours being the first universe. One school of thought believes in the concept of singularity. This means that there has only ever been and will only ever be one universe. And that is the one that we currently know because it is observable. There was a starting point, the beginning of time, and it is not possible to have a time before the dawn of time itself. The alternate theory is that the universe is cyclical in nature. The ending of one triggers the Big Bang which starts the next universe. The leftovers from the previous universe, known as Hawking Points, are observable and thus prove that there was a universe before the current one. So, which theory do you believe? Let's go back to Brian Greene when considering this. Greene urges people to take theories about the universe with a grain of salt and reminds us they are quote-unquote purely speculative. Perhaps philosophy can settle this debate in a way that physics cannot. As English philosopher Aldous Huxley put it, there is only one corner of the universe you can be certain of improving, and that's your own self. So in other words, by all means, let your mind wander and consider the possibility that ours is not the only universe. But don't lose too much sleep over it. At the end of the day, we as a species may never really know. Thanks for watching. For more videos on the most amazing forgotten parts of our history, be sure to subscribe to the Intrigued Mind channel. Like the video and leave your suggestions in the comments below.